Next one I want to show you, now that was the finder preferences. The next thing is under view. View has another set of powerful tools that can really help you out. Show view options right down there at the bottom. So you click on that one and what you get is you get an option here to customize things. This is for the desktop. Where this really comes in handy is when you're looking inside a folder and I'll show you in a second. But you notice the text here is on underneath the icon. Well, I can decide to make it to the right. And now my text is over here to the right of my icons instead of underneath. And I can also say that text is a little small for me to read. Can we blow it up a little bit because the resolution is pretty high on my laptop. Then I can just go text size and I can say let's make that 14. A little bit bigger. Oh, it's still not big enough. Let's make it 16. So you can make it that big making your files a lot easier to be able to read. You can also make it smaller if you find that the text the names of files are taking up too much space and it's abbreviating your file names a lot, then drop it down to 10. And if you like it small, then you can do that. Put them underneath the icon, there you go. So that's a way that you can change that a little bit. I'm going to leave mine at 14 to make it a little larger for those of you viewing the show to be able to see what folders I'm actually opening. You can also adjust the icon size right here because they're where we go, really big icons if you really want to make it super huge. <laughs> but you can customize that the way that you want. The other thing, I want to open a window here and show you. Let me go into something like my pictures folder. So here's my pictures. And what I can do here, you see some additional settings suddenly popped up in this window. And one of the things is the grid spacing is, is kind of nice that I can adjust how tight I want these things to be. So I can fit more images into a smaller window. I can see more of my content that way. So you can adjust your grid spacing. I want mine a little tighter, I think. And then you can also choose the background. Now by default it's white, but I can choose a color. And I can click on this and choose whatever color I want. If I want it to be blue, I can. I can also make it a very deep blue, making it that way. Now. That may work for you, that may not work for you. You're probably going to find it a little bit more difficult to be able to view the text at the bottom. Um, but your lighter colors might be a neat way to do that. You can also, the handy thing about this, about colorizing the background of a, of a window, is this is only the pictures folder. When I go to the documents folder, it's still white. So what I've done is I've customized just the pictures folder. Now this is a nice way for you to color, background color, a certain folder so you know at a glance which folder is which. Because sometimes it gets confusing you've got to remember to look up here and see which one am I in. So I have this project or that project. You know, the, the, the new updated files, the old out of date files. It'd be handy at a glance to make it kind of red or, or make green the newer files. Something like that so you know the out of date from the newer ones. Um, you can also do a picture if you just like to make things a little more customized and you can just drag an image in there. So let's say I wanted this picture that I've got here of these uh, uh, flowers. I can just drag that on there. And now that's my background. And again, it's just for that window. And um, if I go to documents, it doesn't affect that one. If I change my mind and I don't like that one, I want a different picture. I want like Ask the Techies to be in the background. Now I have Ask the Techies. Now, it is showing the full image, so it's not going to center and automatically resize the background image. So it is going to, like you see, Ask the Techies down here is way off to the left because it's a rather large image. Um, but you can put in whatever you want. Let me find another one here. about this flower? Ta -da. So there's kind of a green blurry one. You don't even see a lot of that, but it's a kind of an interesting background. So you can play with that a little bit. And you can say uses default, so it'll start all of your windows that way. If you do want all of yours to be customized in a certain color that you're, or school color that you like, then, then you can do that sort of thing. The show item info button I just checked, that one shows you additional information. Let me go ahead and change this to a color. So you can see, go to white actually. Now here, under the pictures, you can now see the size of the images, which is kind of handy. At a glance, you can kind of see how big each picture is. So if you're looking for the bigger images, you can kind of see, uh, is that the big one or is that the small thumbnail one that I made? So you can see which one was the original image and which is the one that you changed without having to open them. You can just take a look and see which one has the full 3,200 pixels in size, okay? Or which one was taken with the newer camera or the older camera. This is my older camera. You can tell by the size of the pixels. And that's my newer one because it has even more pixels and that's even newer. So <laughs> keep playing with that. So um, see, 
Okay, and if you go to movies, you can do the same thing. You click on show item info, and suddenly it tells me the duration of each video. Or in this case, it tells me in this folder how many items are in that folder. So that's pretty handy if you want to do that. So that's where you can do it, particularly for folders that you do want to access a lot. All right, real quickly, I got one last big bonus tip for you. Thank you.